Hello and welcome back to course number two on the free trial on shamanic healing. We talk about chakras, aura fields, and the power of colors. So, did you know that our chakras are all connected to our organs? And that the heart chakra is correlated to money? Chakras and the connection to the color of healing herbs. For example, dandelion is good to heal any stomach issues and its color is yellow. Just like the solar plexus, which is also associated with yellow. So you can see it here on this picture. We have all the chakras and the stomach is here. So there is no coincidence that the dandelion is yellow and the solar plexus is also yellow. So nature is so smart that everything is connected. And dandelion is very healing plant for any issues in your stomach area. And yeah, let's move on to the aura color. You can find out your personal aura color with your birth date. Did you know that? So add your birth date to find your personal aura base color. For example, if you were born on May 2nd, 1999. So you add May, it's the 5 and the 2 and 1990. So you add up all the numbers and then you will add all the numbers until you get like um, up to 12. So, and the number is also correlated to the color. So if you add up the numbers, so, and you get like the number one, then you have your aura base color is red. If you get a two, it's orange, a three, it's yellow, and so on. And the red has also a meaning. It's, it's like a powerful person, optimistic person, a hardworking person, and orange is kind, friendly, and helpful. And also the correlation of colors and clothing. So you can find out everything on colors and people. So if someone is, he likes to wear green, for example, so it's like a friendly and responsible person. So everything is correlated. And also the colors and healing. So colors can influence emotions and well-being and they have specific healing properties. For example, blue is cooling and calming, while red is energizing and dynamic. Colors can be used in healing crystals and clothes to support the healing process. And if, if you see here, eating with colors, this is something really interesting and it's very simple. So to have like a healthy, balanced diet, it's just so simple that you eat like the colors. For example, you eat once a day or several times a day veggies or fruit with the color green, color yellow, orange like a carrot and tomatoes so to have like a balanced diet just make sure you get all these colors in your food plan and it's so simple yes i hope you liked a little bit an excursion on colors and the meaning of colors and then let's move on to course three on practical tips and tricks